to my channel. In this video, I'm doing waterproof jackets, but specifically within a budget of £100. So I set myself a task to go find a, a good selection of a range up to £100 budget that are waterproof, and that's the key, is the key word is waterproof. <laughs> oh, it'll stop raining. Honestly, it rained all last night and it rained all this morning and I had my big coat on and I was drenched. Willow had hair coat on, she was dry. <laughs> Apart from when she piled into a mud bath to play with a cocker spaniel and then she had to have a proper bath when we got in. So she's not talking to me at the moment. Um, she's cuddled up in bed under a blanket, <laughs> recovering from the trauma of a bath. <laughs> anyway, waterproof. So on a label, you can see something called a raincoat. It doesn't mean it's going to keep you dry. There's water resistant, water repellent, there's shower resistant, there's uh, storm wear. You've got to be really specific about, you know, when you're looking at a tag and thinking, am I going to stay dry? If it doesn't have the waterproof tag on it, then you're going to get wet. <laughs> Particularly if it's heavy, wet, heavy rain. If it's a shower, fine just a light shower, but I'm in Yorkshire, in the UK, in Yorkshire, we get a lot of rain. And when it rains, yeah, it really rains and you get wet. So, <laughs> I've, put, I've ordered all of the coats from Next because Next on their website, I really like um, what they do. They have uh, this banner that they put on the bottom of the image and it says whether it's waterproof. So if it doesn't have that, you know, even if it says it's a raincoat, that it's not waterproof. It's kind of like it's certifying it that this is definitely waterproof. And of course, when you get them, it will tell you on the labels as well that they are waterproof. Shall I prove it to you? Shall I? <laughs> Shall I prove it? It's on here. So this first one is Regatta. Regatta. There you go. Nice navy blue. It's fairly light. It's not the lightest for jackets. It's classed as a as a jacket but it's a little long this one I've got a size 16 I am five foot five and it's a midgy bit on the top and um, I've got my heels on so I'll just show you how this looks on what I think is an average sized lady there you go see the population is getting a lot taller now so I'm not actually classed as average height anymore I'm classed as as I guess small <laughs> short uh, but anyway you can see that that covers my bum which I do like there it does have inside some little pulleys so you can actually pull them in and then it gives you a waistline so you, you feel like you're nice and snug inside it's got the one plain zip not the double zip at the bottom which I also like it is crunchy. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> so sorry if you can't hear me over the crunching. It's classed also as windproof. So it has it on the label. It's going to be windproof. Um, it's got this extra flap with the press studs to cover the, the zip and give you that extra protection. And also with the flaps, on the pockets, it means you're not going to get water in your pockets either, so you're going to protect anything that you've got in there is going to be protected from the rain. £84, this one, £84, so it's under the 100 but nearer the top end. I have got some more mid-range and lower as well, um, so they're coming up. But yeah, that's the first one. Oh, I haven't done the hood test. You've got to keep me in line, you know. I'm never very keen on a lot of the hoods that seem to be too big and they blow down as soon as the wind catches them. Same with my big coat. You can't keep the hood up in the wind. This one's got the zip all the way to the top, which, yeah, you can see it's going to protect it. And then you've got the extra toggles to tighten it as well. So that is, that's a decent hood. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put the next one on for you. Just 
plain black, this one. Dare to be. Dare to be. I dare. It's really light, this one. Really light. So again, waterproof. I did get 14 in this one. I want you to try some different sizes because I am losing weight. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> but I'm still losing weight. Um, so I am sort of in a brink in between 14 and 16 at the moment. Just avoiding the crinkle. It's a double zip. Oh, I don't like the double zips. I always get stuck in them. But that's not so bad. Oh, it's a little bit snug. <laughs> it's a little bit snug. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just won't be able to wear a thick jumper under it. So really ultra light this one now it's it's 85 pounds so i don't know why there's such a difference between this one and the regatta particularly as there's a lot more to that other one oh it's really snug around my palm <laughs> that's where i really need to lose the weight <laughs> never mind yeah the regatta's like got the extra thermal but if you're just wanting waterproof rain jacket um, and you don't want a heavy thick coat as well then I get it but it is £85 so it's still at the higher end of the £100 budget hood is secure that's not going to blow down it does feel like there's some toggles in there oh Yes, they're in there somewhere. I don't know how you do those. Hang on. Yeah. Looks like it fits now if I go like this. Yes. It's just a bit tight around the bottom. <laughs> but at least it covers my bottom. Zip side pockets. No inside pockets, but that's okay. Where are the toggles? Do you know there's a toggle in there and I don't know where it comes out. It's almost like it's slipped inside the fabric. No, I'm stumped. <laughs> stumped on that one I don't know <laughs> there is a toggle in there I can feel it but there's no uh, string you can't get to it that's a design error <laughs> that's like a puzzle how do you figure that one out <laughs> oh man I'm just going to apologise oh it's there look but the, the toggle's in there oh I see Seriously, honestly, <laughs> you pull that and you've got your button there, you toggle to pull it tighter. That's very clever. <laughs> it's far too clever for me. <laughs> okay, so I will say that so far, both the jackets, they're washable at 40 degrees. It's usually what you expect anyway. Um, and it gives you all the features on these. It, it does say that this one's um, made from recycled materials, which I always find is quite attractive as well. And so that's that one, £85. Comments, please, on all of the jackets. I want to know what your thoughts are. Oh, I'm in love with this one. <laughs> I see Salt Cornwall, which I do love this design. Uh, look at that. Gorgeous yellow. Oh, guess what? It's reversible. <laughs> it is, it's reversible. That's what it says anyway. I'm going to try it. 100% um, waterproof. So that <laughs> they're very specific about getting the point across that it is, and this is recycled materials as well, that it's 100% waterproof. So I think most companies are becoming a bit more environmentally conscious now 
really high quality good zip, single zip. It's got this nice little mark on the back. It's got the anchor, you probably can't see it, it's really light. It says sea salt, Cornwall and rain. It's crunchy. Now this is a size 16 and it's it's actually quite big, but I think it's supposed to be. I noticed with a lot of the um, designs they're meant to be oversized, so it's like a supposed to be a boxy look. Which I'm not entirely keen on because I feel like it makes me look bigger. But let me know. It's, it's like a mustardy yellow. I think those turn over on the cuff. Well, that's a nice touch. Uh, what do you think? Gosh, this is nice. <laughs> it's nice. I could, you know, because I don't like the big look, I could just get a 14 and it'll fit just nice. So let's try the hood. Right, now this is a little bit loose. But it does have the toggles. A little bit basic, but it does have them. So yeah, it's, it's not as tight or as secure as the others, but it does look good. Can I just apologise for my fringe? I need to get to the hairdressers and my fringe is just far too long and it's, it's doing this floppy thing. Sorry. Anyway, again, covers my bone. What do you think to that one? Shall I turn it inside out? Yes. Oh, it's got pockets on both sides as well. That's so clever. Gosh, I really like this idea. This is top end. It's hundred pounds. Absolute top end. Of the budget. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Uh, oh, the zip, of course, is the other way around. Hang on. <laughs> oh, that feels really strange putting the zip on that way. Right, there you go. So, two coats for the price of one, still under pounds though. There, so what do you think to that look? That nice, I think the mustard and the blue go really nice together. Same again with the hood. Completely different look. I like, I like it. Nice and light this one again. Nice light rain jacket. These pockets are great. Hey, you know what that means? You've got four pockets. One, two, three, four. Oh, I like pockets. That is such a good idea. Right. <laughs> I know it's top end of the budget, but it, that's my favorite at the moment. <laughs> Okay, this is another regatta. I actually ordered three regattas, so they must be reasonably priced. Um, so, blooper. <laughs> this is similar coat. Um, the first coat that I tried on, the regatta, that one was £77. This one's £84. So this is the second regatta. Very similar, but I'll just go through the differences. This one's a lot longer, so it's more like a, a coat than a jacket. You can see it goes right past my bum to near, near, near enough under my knees. It's also got a fair lined hood, which I really like. I'll show you close up, but there you go. Oh, it's soft. <laughs> it's soft, you see. Nice, teddy, teddy bear soft. And that lining goes right down the 
the back shoulder panel and just a little lining on the side there. Similar, you've got the togs on the inside to tighten it and give yourself a waistline. This one is two zips at the bottom, the one I'm not keen on, but I did get it on okay. Um, and this is a 14, which is, um, a, the other one was 16, so this is a bit snug, but that's my fault. I'm just trying on different sizes. And um, so, the, other than that, the, I mean, there's Velcro instead of press studs. 84 pounds for the extra money I would have wanted press studs, really. And similarly, same pockets, you've got the flaps on, on top. So fully waterproof, windproof, and a thick, warm one. So there's a little bit more weight in that. Quite nice detail on the arm there with a little badge, regatta badge. There you go. All right, let's try on the next one. Plain black, Trespass, 60 pounds. So for a windproof, waterproof, all on here, all this, exactly the same technical performance information. It's a lot cheaper. And I like it. <laughs> oh, tissue. Tissue. Right. I like this detail on the inside. It feels a little bit nautical. <laughs> Naughty nautical. So I quite like stripes and that type of finish. Nice high neck on it. Do you know, it's, it seems really good quality. Just the one plain zip. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, look. I like it, I like it. And 60 pounds for a waterproof jacket. Shall I try it on? Well, of course I'm gonna try it on. Here's the downside. <laughs> okay, when I ordered it, it didn't come in sizes, uh, UK sizes like 12, 14, 16. It came in small, medium and large. <laughs> I ordered the medium. I didn't want to order the large. <laughs> I ordered the medium. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to fasten it. I'll give it a go for a laugh. Oh no. Oh no, it's two zips at the bottom. Ooh. Breathing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still like it for 60 pounds. I just, I would have to order the large. So, it <laughs> goes under my bum. There you go. <laughs> I just think it's really reasonable. 60 pounds raincoat. There you go. It's quite high neck that, so you wouldn't need a scarf or anything. And you've got the toggles to secure the hood, because that's quite flappy actually, but it's okay. So that's trespass, I can't breathe. <laughs> right, let's hope, oh, let's hope the sizing on the next one's okay. Release, release. <laughs> and this is the third regatta, so it's the last regatta. Um, I do like this colour, this sort of khaki, army green colour. Oh, then that's stuck. The usual, it's waterproof, windproof, um, everything proof. It's not bulletproof. One zip. Oh, and this one's got more extra fairing. So fair in the hood and quite a fair bit down the shoulder to the back. Excuse the crunchy noise. Size 14, cross your fingers, it fits. Or at least I can get it on and breathe. Oh yeah, it's on, it's on. There you go. So zip, 
and the press studs. Refer the press studs to Velcro. Velcro gets all sorts stuck on it. Same again with pockets, flaps, waterproof, no rain getting in there. And the hood, nice, comfy, fair lined hood. It's very nice. £70. So that's better. So we've got a couple now, 70 and 60 pounds, that I think are quite reasonable. That is really secure. I like that. Okay, comments on this one. What do you think? Do you like the colour? And what do you think to the regatta range for the price? Have you got a regatta coat? What's it like? Is it really waterproof? <laughs> All right, I'm on to the last one. I've saved what I think is the best till last. I think it is, but only because of the colour. <laughs> Pink! <laughs> this mountain warehouse. Pink! <laughs> it's actually called Pink Adrenaline. That's like a highlighter pen, isn't it? I would look like a highlighter pen. I like it. <laughs> this one is the cheapest one. This is £55, so for a fully waterproof jacket, £55. I really like pink and black together. So size 16, breathable lining, very light, and I believe these are reflective in the dark. I think everyone's gonna see you coming in this color anyway. Let's get it on, let's get it on. Oh, size 16, it only just fits, you know. It's not snug, but it is, it feels more like a 14. All the way to the top. Oh gosh, I like that. I like it. Downside, it doesn't cover my bottom fully. But, does that suit me? Does it? Cause it does, it's pink. <laughs> you notice that if you watched my hair colour of the month, the tangerine has nearly come out. It's just a little bit left there. It's just faded to a peach. Oh, what a nightmare that was. Anyway, there's no hood. There's no hood on it and it's a raincoat or a rain jacket. Hang on. There you go. Who needs a hood? I've got my animal print umbrella. <laughs> I was actually looking for a hat that I've got. I bought a hat for a friend and I got myself one. And it was an umbrella hat. It was really cute. Can't find it. There is a reason for that. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Do you notice this big pocket on the back? I didn't. There's nothing. I thought, oh, maybe the hood's in there and it attaches or something, but no, this it's just a back pocket. It's not your usual place to have a, po a pocket. There's no other pockets. You see, oh, oh no, no, hang on. I was going to say, I've just put my down on it. There you go. Invisible pockets there, in there, somewhere. <laughs> it's just, this is weird. That's not a pocket. Hang on, let me just take this off. What a palaver on the last jacket. Yeah. Nothing but professionalism on this channel. <laughs> what is that zip for if it's not a pocket? An air vent? <laughs> Hang on, let's investigate. Right. I think it's an air vent. Seriously, there's no there's no pocket there. That's just a zip with a vent. <laughs> it's just the zap. Yeah, the same there. Let's see, lucky dips you've got a pocket on that side. No, <laughs> it's just a little vent. So it's just a back pocket. Oh, that's really put me off now. Oh, pockets are essential when you walk in a dog. Because I've got a whippet. 
Oh, that's ruined it. Mountain warehouse, what are you doing? <laughs> Could have made some pockets on the side. That's my collection anyway. Your comments, please, as always, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.